Hello everybody. Welcome to a new session on JMeter. So, in the last few sessions we have seen the basics of JMeter. In this session we will be exploring what assertions are. So, start with JMeter assertions. Now, what are assertions? So, assertions are the check or verification on responses received. It's the uh, in short, it's the result verification. So, if we run a particular test, how will we know uh, whether a test has been successful or whether it has failed? So, assertions help us in doing that. Uh, let's look into few general assertions that we have. So today we will be looking into a response assertion, then we will be looking into the duration assertion, size assertion, HTML assertion, XML assertion. And for this, we will be adding a, a new type of listener called the assertion listener. So let's start. We begin by adding a sorry. We begin by adding a test plan. I have named it as assertions.jmx and now we will start adding first we will add the thread group threads thread group so we will keep the number of threads as one the ramp up period as one and uh, the loop count as one then we will add an http sampler here http request sampler in this we will put new tours dot demo dot com there is no path since we are just going to the home page and uh, giving request to the home page so that's about it for uh, the http request and now we will add our listeners So we will add our general listeners like uh, view results in table because view results in tree occupies a lot of space we will add view results in table and we will add the listener that I talked about that is uh, assertion results listener. Okay, so now we have the res uh, uh, the listeners in place now we need to add our assertions click on the http request add the assertion we are adding the assertions directly to the request so we will add a duration assertion duration assertion in milliseconds we will put as 100 let's see what happens if you put a hundred as uh, so we will start with the duration assertion let's run this thing okay, we will, I will show you how this assertion results looks like okay so as you can see uh, I have put a very small figure for the duration. So duration assertion has failed. The operation lasted too long. It took 2131 milliseconds but should not have lasted more than longer than 100 milliseconds. Since 100 milliseconds was our expected value uh, that this is of course very uh, small for a duration. So let us see uh, if it passes if we put 2131 milliseconds.
you will put 2200 to be on the safer side and now we will run it yep uh, let me clear it and show you once again so that it will be clearer oh so it is taking a variable amount of time so let us put some big figure over there say we put a 4000 milliseconds and this is a quite a big figure so it should pass yeah so nothing has appeared in the assertions uh, page so that means our http request has passed let's look into the next assertion which is our size assertion so putting the size assertion and uh, here you can see size in bytes so uh, we can put something around 2000 and greater or equal to 2000 we will put a uh, somewhat uh, we will uh, relax our uh, criteria instead of putting it uh, directly equal to because if we put equal to and if it does not come as 2000 as the size of the response then it will fail so we will put 2000 or greater so let's see the result of this listener so here we have this applies to main sample and sub samples main sample only sub samples only j meter variable we can put our uh, a j meter variable over here so let's verify our size assertion result so go to we clear the results and then we put it again the duration assertion has passed let's look into the size assertion okay so this one has passed the status is green so it has passed now share uh, okay let's run our uh, test once again and let's see what we have in our assertion results okay so the http request has passed but the size assertion has failed it says that the result was the wrong size it was 15863 bytes but should have been equal to 2000 bytes so our 2000 bytes was quite a small figure let's change it to 15 or let's change it to 16000 bytes and let's see whether it passes or we'll put 15000 and we'll put a greater or equal to so now we are all set as far as this assertion goes we will clear it and we will run it once again there you go it has passed now so we have a pass scenario now so two assertions have been covered let's look into what we have next so we covered the duration and size now we have a response assertion where we will, uh, where we will verify the response code
so here we have a response assertion we put we select the response code as our criteria and we will put contains clause we will add and we will put 200 okay now let's run and see what we have okay so we have a pass criteria over here let's clear our results and now we will change our response code to something else let's change it to 201 let's run it once again and it should fail this time see the response assertion has failed test failed code expected to contain 201 but the code actually came up as a success code 200 so let's change our response back to 200 now we will see the next uh, assertion that is the uh, html assertion okay so this will verify the html of the page here we can give the error threshold and the warning threshold i will uh, so you can specify figures over here how much do you want the errors to be and how much do you want the warnings to be currently we have put it as zero zero let's see our results we clear it and we run it okay so uh, what it says is we have html assertion failure tidy parser errors zero allowed uh, and uh, we had zero parser errors but we had 44 parser warnings and we have put as allowed zero so now let's change it to 44 something uh, greater than 44 and let's see our results say we have 50 now we save it and we run it once again after clearing the results ok so everything has passed this time so that's it for the html assertion and next we will cover xml assertion XML assertion we will add XML assertion over here so this will simply verify the XML of our page if there is any XML on our page then it will simply verify the XML let's clear our past results and run it once again okay so we have a xml assertion error on line 46 the element type br must be terminated sorry about that must be terminated by the matching n tag slash br so there is some error which the programmer has done uh, he has left uh, a br tag uh, he has not closed out the br tag let's run it once again and verify our result once again okay so we get the same error so this can be communicated to the developer saying that there is an error uh, on a xml and it's on line 46 so you can just copy paste this thing and send it to the developer and uh, the developer can later do the changes and we can run our test once again so once everything runs fine we can just increase the number of users so 
so let's make the threads as 5 and run our test once again okay so the same error is happening every time and yeah we are all set now so our test has passed and these are the results it has uh, here it is showing as failure because we have a xml failure but that can be corrected rest of it has passed so we are all set we are good to go on our assertion so that's about it in assertions. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, please post a comment. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can view the new videos that I put in. And yeah, do post, uh, do like my video. So see you once again. Thank you. Bye-bye.